What's going on though people, it's Deuce the Dope Dad, back with another video. Today we're gonna talk about what's going on in the crypto space right now. What role can you play while the market does its thing as it seems like it's at a standstill. And I know for some of you guys, it may even seem like the market is tanky right now. So stick around, I'm gonna give you guys three things you can do while the market does its thing. Now, first and foremost, guys, especially if you're new to this space, we have to understand that the crypto market is just like any other market. There's going to be ups, there's going to be downs, there's going to be bull runs, there's going to be bear runs. And for those of you guys that aren't familiar with these terms that I'm talking about, a bull run is when there's a lot of volume going on in the space. There's a ton of buyers, right? Everybody's jumping in. This is typically when you see all the different posts on social media from your friends and family that have never said anything about investing, especially when it comes to crypto. This is typically when you see those type of posts when we're in a bull market now. On the opposite end of that, we have a bear market. Now, if a bull market is when the market is running up, what do you think a bear market is? A bear market is when the market is actually running down and there's a ton of sellers. You know, typically when there's, and, and, and that can happen based off of various reasons. And I'm not gonna spend too much time talking about that. That's a different video for a different day. A lot of you guys may have some of the same questions that I've been receiving on pretty much all of my social media platforms. Dudes, what's happening right now? Like, what's going on? You know, I got in at, at, at Dogecoin, you know, at 60 cent, and I thought that the next day it was going to a dollar. I bought Ethereum at 3,800, and I thought it was gonna go to 10,000, you know, within a week, and it just seems to be just going bad. I understand how you're feeling right now. I understand, you know, especially if you're a newbie when it comes to this space. But this is just my personal opinion, what, what I think is going on. I think there's a lot of futures and contracts expiring right now. And I think that some of those are, or a lot of those actually are expiring right now. So that may have something to do with the market. That's just my personal opinion. Now, one of my biggest conspiracies that I think is going on right now is a lot of the financial institutions, not just financial institutions, but there's a lot of institutions right now, a lot of big institutions, a lot of big companies, and a lot of the whales out there in the market. I personally think that when it comes to a lot of these coins, especially some of the major coins, I honestly think that the market is being manipulated so that these institutions can get in at better prices because if you guys have been around this space for a while, years ago, especially, you know, five years ago, three, four years ago, a lot of these same institutions that are now buying into the concept of uh, decentralized currency and, you know, buying into, you know, peer-to-peer -peer transactions, a lot of the institutions that were against that a few years ago are all of a sudden on board. So I think a lot of the price manipulation that I'm seeing going on right now has a lot to do with, you know, a lot of those guys want to get at, get in at better interest. But hey, what do I know? Please don't even get me started on Bitcoin and what I think is going on over there, especially with that manipulation from a certain somebody that I'm not going to mention uh, or give too much an attention to uh, on this particular video. But there's a certain someone out there that used to support and be uh, pro-Bitcoin, but all of a sudden, I think they have alternate motives. I'm not quite sure what it is yet, but yeah. Okay, so now I've given you some of my theories. When you think about it, there's nothing you can do about any of that stuff that I just talked about. Now, what you can do is one, you can do nothing. <laughs> That was good. That was, that was good. The reason why you do absolutely nothing is because now this isn't even when it comes to crypto. This could be any investment. If you feel like you got a great asset for a great price, right? You just chill. You relax. You think long term. The reason why you want to do that is because at the night, comes daytime. At the daytime, comes nighttime. At the spring, comes fall. At the fall, comes winter. It's, it's a cycle. You have to understand, like we said earlier, that Things like this is going to happen. It's normal. Not just in this investment. Within any market, there's bullish runs, there's bearish runs. So you just have to be willing to deal with that and understand that there's nothing you can do about it. So you just do nothing about it, right? You just relax and understand that if you got great entries, soon, you know, prices will rise again. Now, one of the reasons that I see people panic is because number one, they're investing money that they can't afford to lose. Especially if you're not scrapped for cash, 
Just let the investment just stick and stay. Stick and stay, you'll eventually get your pay. That said, weighs us in right into number two, which is think long term. With the microwave society that we have right now, and with the success stories that you're seeing on the internet, when it comes to crypto, you have to understand these people didn't invest into you know these these coins and these tokens and these contracts and these uh, NFTs. They didn't invest into these things um, the same day that they got the return or a day before they got the return for most people. For most people, they've held these uh, particular investments for a while now. And during that phase, you pretty much really didn't hear anything about them holding or about them reinvesting or about them dollar cost averaging, you know, uh, which is something that we're going to talk about in a later video. You don't hear those type of stories because that's the boring stuff, especially if you're holding and you're not trading. Understand that data shows over time by holding a good investment, holding a good asset, eventually over time that that investment, that asset will grow over time. I right, got so number three is the polar opposite of number one. Number one was do nothing. Now, number three, I actually want you to take some profit, especially if you got in that great entries, guys. Why wouldn't you? That's what the whales do. That's what the big wigs out there, when price runs up crazy during a bull run, the reason why you see price immediately get slapped back down is because there's whales out there taking millions of dollars out of the market, right? So, you know, what I want you guys to do, if you got good entries during bull runs, don't be afraid to take some profits, you know, especially if you're sitting on some, some, some pretty good profits. You know, I've seen scenarios where people have a, you know, some insane numbers, a, a $30,000 day, a $100,000 day, you know, $200,000 day, and they literally take no profits and what ends up happening typically the next day after, you know, it's been, you know, or a couple of days after it was been you know crazy bull runs you know price usually dips there's this whole movement going on right now with you know the whole diamond hands and you know i understand the concept but as investors you know you want to be smart and this is my this is my personal strategy so this is not anything that i'm suggesting you guys do uh, this is just something that works for me typically on a crazy bull run what i like to do is i like to take either one fourth of you know profit or one fourth of my profit or, you know, something, you know, that's close to one fourth of uh, my entire position. And if price continues to uh, dip, like, like I know price eventually will, then I'll look for opportunities to go back in and, you know, reinvest into that asset. What I don't want you to do is let anyone make you feel bad for rewarding yourself. I don't want you to make anyone make you feel bad. Don't let what society says make you feel bad for wanting to pay yourself. So in summary, take you some profit, please. If you got in at lower levels and you see people are greedy, there's crazy bull runs and you know money's getting flooded into the market, don't be afraid. Don't, don't let anyone make you feel bad for taking profit. Reward yourself. And number four, buy the deal. Now wait, understand, just because you see that there's starting to be some downtrend, understand just because price dips a little bit, that's not necessarily a deal. Now, a dip for me could be different for a dip for you. That's why you have to understand uh, entries. That's why you have to understand, you know, reading charts and stuff like that. And that's why you also have to understand dollar cost averaging. And what do I mean by dollar cost averaging? Let's just say you got into the, I don't know, the deuce coin for, we had a crazy day today and it ran up to, you know, $20,000 a coin or something, you know, crazy like that, right? And you actually entered at around $17,000, right? Now, what you can do is, let's say over the course of the next week or the next month, when there's a ton of whales out here, they're taking profit, and you see price, it dips down all the way to 3000 or something insane like that, or $3 or something like that. So what you can do is you can actually go in and start buying the dip. You can start buying uh, more of that asset. What that'll do is it will actually lower that dollar cost average on that particular position, right? So number four, you can buy the dip. But I do want you guys to sort of, if you haven't already, if you're not an expert already in the space, uh, just commit to just learning some basics 
on, on, on reading charts and stuff like that. I'm not telling you to go out and, you know, mark up these, you know, colorful lines all the time, be watching screens all the time. I'm not telling you to do any of that, but you do need to understand what a true dip is and a dip for me may not be a dip for you, depending upon your entry. Now, I want to take this time to apologize because I lied to you guys. I told you that I was only going to give you three different things that you can do uh, during a downtrend or bear market, but I gave you four and I'm also going to throw a bonus in here. I'm not going to say this is five, uh, but I'll just say this is a bonus right here. Personally, I sell when people are greedy and I'm buying when people are fearful. Right now, people aren't that fearful, but they're starting to get a little fearful. And so right now, where we are in summer of 2021, I'm starting to see a few uh, buying opportunities when it comes to dollar cost averaging for my particular positions. So always keep that in mind. When all of your friends and all of your family and people on social media that has never said anything about investing. Everybody's an expert on social media. That's typically a time when I'm selling and when nobody is talking about anything, you know, you're not seeing any investment advice and stuff like that from people that aren't normally talking about those things. That's usually when the people like me are buying. So you always want to keep that in mind. Buy when people are fearful. Typically you want to sell when people are all excited and you know people are being greedy in the market you know buying at all of these high levels all right guys so one more quick note or quick side note as we wrap up this is one thing that i'm super 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 passionate about getting people to understand please go into this please don't take this as a game please go into this with the plan just like you go into any other thing or any other investment with a plan knowing what you want to achieve you know, and that's going to help you make the right decisions. It's going to help you when it comes to, you know, balancing and controlling your emotions. Because if you don't learn, if you don't have a plan or if you decide not to do any of your own research or don't decide not to learn anything about charting or anything like that, I promise you, I've seen it time and time again, you will get shaken out of the market. What I mean by shaking out of market, you will lose money. You will get uh, down and depressed and all of that stuff um, because you're not really understanding what's going on. You know, it's all, you know, peaches and cream when price is running up, but you need to know what to do when there's a downtrend, when the bears are taking over, you want to be prepared. So I hope this video helped you do that. You guys, please like, comment, and share this if you got some value with it. I'm pretty sure there's other people that you know that will also get value from this uh, as well. So take care. I'll see you guys on the next video.